Okay, we love our 10 Jam Chaise Lounger. It's definitely the most comfortable lounger. But I wanna show you a hack that I've been seeing people, uh, people doing. And that is 10 Jam makes different risers for different water depths. So Chaise by itself works in up to five inch water depth. But if you add a four inch riser, an eight inch riser, or a 12 inch riser, these risers simply like snap into the unit right here, uh, that allows shaves to work in different water depths, but they all have maximum limits. So in the case of like a four inch riser, it allows the shaves to work in up to nine inches of water. The eight inch riser gets you up to 13 and the 12 inch riser gets you all the way up to 17 inches. But let's say you measured your pool, you found your pool was nine inches at the edge. So you order the four inch risers because, hey, that's supposed to work up to nine inches of water but you put the lounger in the pool and the front end of the lounger's out there, well, it's 10 inches of water. Now you put people in the pool. Uh, your friends are coming over there splashing around. So really your effective water depth might even be 11 inches, a couple inches over what you were planning on. And what that leads to is the front end of the lounger, even when filled properly, you've outdid your limit for the four inch riser. It's supposed to only work in nine. Now it's out there trying to work in 11 and you're seeing the front end of the riser bouncing a little bit, or the front end of the lounger bouncing a little bit. This is a hack we saw, it was first put, uh, put out there by a homeowner in Florida, then we saw one in Arizona, and throughout the country we're, we're seeing people uh, come up with this kind of cool hack to put weights in the front of the chaise riser to help balance it out or keep it down when, it, when you're trying to put it in water rated, or water that's deeper than what it's rated for. So anyway, uh, here I simply just uh, got a zip tie. Make sure you get the longest zip ties you can. That makes it way easier. But here I had to, because I had short zip ties, I had to connect two of them together. Uh, once I have those two zip ties together, I just have a coated, a coated weight. Simply connect that in, tighten it up. Now that weight is inside the riser. Now as part of this hack to put the weights in the riser, um, one homeowner that we saw, they mentioned how they first went out to the pool and determined how much weight they needed in their particular pool. They just simply Take these weights, put a weight on top, and saw if that, uh, if that kind of solved the stability or let it work in deeper water. Uh, we also noticed that you really only needed to put the weights in the front riser. We didn't have anybody report that they had to put weights in the back riser. But you can determine how much weight you need. In this particular lounger, now we have chaise uh, with the riser, four inch riser rated for up to nine inch water depth but the front of it right now is at 10 inches. Now, if we get a bunch of people in this pool, again, the water level is gonna come up, wave action's gonna hit, and that's gonna make the front end of the right, or lounger go up and down because you're using it in deeper water than, than the riser's in t or meant for. So with this case, we added a three pound weight and it really firmed up the front of this riser in the pool. Now, again, you can determine how much weight you need. We have, you know, with the different riser heights, course the bigger risers you can get more weight inside easier but uh but here i'll just tip it over i'll break the vacuum seal as if we were going to drain shades and take it out of the pool but here you can see how that three pound weight tightened that riser just helped give it some extra stability if your pool water is too deep for the riser that you selected